Hi guys, I thought we would go on a scavenger hunt through one of Monet's paintings. This painting is Garden at San Andre, and this garden was actually his aunt's garden, and he would go visit her. What a great setting. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to look for in this painting is a top hat. Does anyone see a top hat? Right there's a top hat. Now these are hats that we don't usually wear anymore. Um, they're usually saved for special occasions, but it looks like they're just wearing it on a certain afternoon. If you see this top hat, you can see there's another hat somewhere in this painting that's a little bit different. Do you see it? This is a Panama hat. And that is probably Monet's father. And we think that this is probably his aunt but there's a different type of hat. So we see two different types of hats in this painting. <clears throat> Next thing I want you to look for is a flag. Do you see any flags? How many do you see? I see two. One, two. This is actually the flag of France. We have the blue, the white, and the red stripes. This here, this flag, is the flag of the t little town that they live in. What can you tell about these flags? It seems like there's wind. Do you see how the flags are blowing and they're both going the same direction? If it wasn't windy, these flags would be laying down like this. Awesome. The next thing we're going to look for is a boat. Do you see any boats? If you look on the horizon line, there seem to be dotted with boats. Lots and lots of boats are along the horizon line. And then there's one closer to us. The one that's closer to us is bigger. And that tells us, that helps us understand that it's closer. It's further down on the canvas and it is larger, telling us it's closer. Here is the sailboat. But if you look in the background, you see some steamboats because they have little puffs of smoke or steam coming out of them. Very important for the trade. Um, these boats, are these big steamboats are carrying products around Europe, things that people might need. Now we're gonna look for flowers. Do you see a lot of flowers? I see a lot. Um, he has a variety of flowers in this painting, and we know that variety is important to use in your painting. Some of the flowers are tall, some are shorter, some are red, some are yellow. I see some blue patches over here. The red against the green are the most vibrant because he used the complementary colors. Red and green are complementary, and they will make them look as bright as possible next to each other. Parasol. It looks like an umbrella, but we're going to look for a parasol in this painting. Do you see any parasol? And how many do you see? We see two parasols, and these are things that women back in the day would use to protect themselves from the sun. So it wouldn't be something that they would use in the rain. It would be something they would use in the sun to keep shaded. Speaking of sun, can you find the sun in here? I know you're thinking, oh, this is like a trick question. I don't see a sun anywhere in the sky, but I know there's a sun because I can see shadows in the painting and I can see highlights wherever the sun's hitting. So the sun is coming in from this side beating down on those parasols and casting shadows. So even though we don't see it, we know it's there. I hope you enjoyed this scavenger hunt.